Hello, everybody. So, um, this is going to be my first tutorial. Um, probably my last, but nonetheless. So, I was having issues um, putting vinyl on <clears throat> a curved surface. And I could, I could not figure out how to do it. Well, what I came up with was... Um, it's it's actually very easy. Um, it just takes a little bit extra time. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you are going to cut out your word or your picture in your silhouette. Um, have it all situated and then you are going to go ahead and weed it and get all the gunk out. Obviously you want to do this very carefully because, you know, you don't want to mess up your vinyl. So we'll get all this taken out of here. All right, so that's that. Let's grab that. And then you want to get, you know, obviously your little pieces out of the middle. Those don't belong. That is not what you want to do. All right. So remember all your little pieces. You feel like you need to use the the weeding hook. No, you can definitely do that. I I honestly I find it a little more difficult to to use that because it's not very sharp. I feel like so sometimes I'll just use you know this and then get it all out. All right, so here we are. We're done getting all the gunk off. Done. So from here, uh, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and cut off um, all of this excess, you know, paper on the sides um, or vinyl backing, whatever. So then you cut it all off. Be sure not to cut your vinyl. Okay. Then I already have my. Um, my piece of transfer tape. I, I actually use um, contact paper, but you know, and it works just as well and it's cheaper. So it's for me. <laughs> okay. So we go ahead and we peel off the transfer tape. on come on honestly I think this is the most difficult part for me all right there we go okay I got it finally all right so we're gonna go ahead and pull this off of here like that um, then we are going to go ahead and put it down over our vinyl we're just going to leave it in place just like that. We're going to make sure to get it all on there. Get it all. Scrape down. Okay. <clears throat> That's that. So we're going to pull it all up, including the backing. Okay, because we want the backing for this next part. This is important. Um, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and cut off all of the excess um, transfer tape so it's not like sticking to everything. Go ahead and cut it all out. All right. Then this is the important part. What you want to do is you want to go and you want to cut as close to each one of these letters as you can possibly get. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, when you have like the letter M, you don't necessarily have to cut all the way around it. Just cut a little, you know, a slit up there, you know, so that it can be transferred easier. We'll go ahead and do this all the way around as close as we can get to the letters. You don't need any of this extra transfer tape, so you're not worried about it. So then we're going to come all the way and continue around. Basically what this does is 
I noticed that each one of the letters, as they're going down, they kind of go down in their own little way. Um, and it, it doesn't really have the freedom to do that when you are trying to put them all down with the same piece of transfer tape. So you have a little more control to allow them to kind of fall where they're supposed to. So we're just gonna keep going all the way around. Okay, so that's where we're at so far. And then, you know, same thing over here. Again, being very careful not to, you know, cut the vinyl. I mean, it could be fixed, but nobody really wants to do that. Okay, so continue cutting all the way. And all the way down. Also, I don't have a tripod, so I'm basically just kind of like jerry-rigged it, I guess. And it's quite comical, but it works, so that's what, what's important, right? All right, so we're almost done here. All right. Okay. So now I've got it all cut out. Let's get all my little transfer pieces up and out of the way. Okay, now this part I feel is, you know, maybe even more important than the other stuff because I've also noticed that when, when you're putting a letter down that has an O in it, like a, you know, a circle in the middle, it, it tends to wrinkle around the edges. So what I do is I take my, my little craft knife and I cut an X in it careful again and obviously be super careful because you're not only working with something like super sharp but you don't want to cut your vinyl so and all you're doing is really all you need to do is cut the transfer tape you don't have to cut all the way through so we're going to do the same thing to the to the little a here and then to the d anywhere you see a circle really is you know where you want to do it Okay. Okay, so that's there. Now, okay, I'm just using, you know, a, a scrap glass. It's basically what I use to decide where my letters are gonna go. So, all right, now what you wanna do is just peel off the letters so, so they stay on your transfer tape, and this is, you know, backing from the vinyl. And then you put your letters where you want them to go. And it's gonna be a lot easier to put them down without them getting all bent and buckled because you're putting them down individually, but still keeping them together. Okay. So there it is. My letter is all the way down, all the way around, all the way. See, and see how easy it was? There's no bubbling, there's no bending, no, none of this nonsense. <clears throat> so then you just scrape it down. You know, make sure you're transferring it onto your glass or whatever surface you're using. Honestly, I think that this is my most difficult part is putting, it's, you know, taking off the transfer tape because I get so like terrified that something bad is gonna happen. But, you know, it usually works out pretty well. So, <clears throat> here it is, we're taking off the transfer tape. Bring it all situated in there. And voila, we're done. You see? And it's on. And there's not any bubbling or, 
bending or cracking, any of that. It's all beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so that is just, I mean, this may have been done before, but I didn't know about it. So here you go. Um, that's the best way I figured out how to do it. If you have any other suggestions, please leave them in the comments below and maybe I can do a tutorial for this next. Thank you. Bye-bye.